Treyallday.com. Work on your game. Dot com. Let's talk about mindset. Let's talk about mental conditioning. In the last video, I said if I had to give credit to uh, one specific thing when it comes to anything that I've created, any success I've created, the number one thing tactically would be processes and systems. But the number one thing overall, if there was this one overall thing outside of tactics, it would be mindset. It would be mental conditioning. And that's what I want to talk about here. And I want to talk about not only what it is, but why it matters and how it needs to be done. And also I want to explain to you why so few people do it once you understand what it is and what it requires, then you may have a better understanding of why so few people do it and maybe why you are not doing it, but I'm gonna try to sell you on the concept so that maybe you'll start doing it. So first of all, what does mental conditioning mean? Let's back up here and let's, let me give you a sports analogy because a lot of people don't understand mindset very well because you can't see it, you can't touch it, you can't measure it. So in the first chapter of my book, Work On Your Game, I talked about mental conditioning. It's the very first chapter. It's called Cardio for the Mind. All right, everybody knows what cardio is, right? So if you play a sport like basketball, for example, in the preseason, we do a whole lot of running drills in practice. And why do we do all these running drills? And if you play a sport like football, uh, maybe even baseball, uh, soccer, any sport that there's a lot of running involved in the game, in practices, you're going to be doing a whole lot of running. In, in training camps, you're gonna do a whole lot of running. In off-season workouts, you're gonna do a lot of running. Why do you do this? You do this so that you can condition your body and your lungs for the actual games. Now, what's the point of doing this? The reason that you do this conditioning is some people think incorrectly that the more conditioning workouts you do, that means the less chance that you're gonna get tired during the games. This is actually not true. What is this dude doing? He's about to get killed. And that's not actually not true. That's not what happens. The purpose of you doing uh, cardiovascular exercise, any kind of cardio, so whether you just like running outside, like training for marathons and stuff like that, or running to get ready for um, basketball season or a soccer game, the purpose is not to avoid fatigue happening because that's actually scientifically impossible. I don't care who you are. If I take the best condition athlete in the world out to a, a park or to a basketball court and have them do a bunch of sprints back and forth up and down a field or a basketball court, you're going to feel fatigue. Everybody will feel fatigue. I'm in great shape. I run 10Ks. I'm an athlete. I work out every day. I'm going to feel fatigue if you have me do a whole bunch of sprints up and down a field or a court. Good conditioning, what it does is it reduces the amount of time you will need in between the feeling of fatigue and when you are ready and able to go all out again, whether you're, when you're ready and able to run and sprint all over again. That's what conditioning does. It just reduces the break time that you need before you can you know, do your thing again. That's the purpose of conditioning. Now, what does any of this have to do with mindset? It has everything to do with mindset because it's the same way that mental conditioning works. When you are mentally conditioned properly, and by proper, I mean you are conditioned in such a way that you're doing it consistently the same way an athlete works out consistently when you're properly mental condition mentally conditioned the amount of time that you need in between facing a challenge or a setback or you know, something just not going the way that you want it to go is greatly reduced as compared to the person who is not mentally conditioned since they're not conditioned they need a lot more time to recover from Know, adverse circumstances and things not going the way that they want them to go. This is why mental conditioning matters so much and this is why, as I'll explain this a little bit more, why this is the number one thing that I would attribute to everything that I've done, any, anything that I've achieved between you know, when I first heard about mental conditioning to now, which is let's just say about 20 years. And here's the thing that you have to understand. Mental conditioning is not something that you do or call on when you need it. Mental conditioning is something that you do all the time so that when you do need it or there is an adverse circumstance that you need to deal with, you are already ready to handle it because your mind is already conditioned for it. The same way that any of you who is religious, 
you know that you're not supposed to wait until you're in a challenging situation like you need a couple dollars or you no know, something some grandma is sick in the hospital and you know close to dying or you know you're facing this really tough situation that you really don't know have any more answers that's not the first time you should be getting down on your knees and praying or the first time you should be showing up to your place of worship and trying to communicate with God because you should have been doing that every week and every day because you claim that this is your religion you should be practicing that religion all the time not just when you need something everybody under understand what I'm saying and if you're a salesperson for example or a marketer or a business person you don't just reach out to your audience and your customers or your followers just when you need an influx of cash and now you're going to try to sell them something and try to build a relationship because now you need some money because they're not going to hear you because they're like all right well, where you been the last six months i ain't never heard nothing from you i only hear from you when you want to make some money you should be communicating with them all the time you take something like what i'm doing right now i'm not trying to sell you anything right now but i'm still putting this video out i'm still i still put emails out four or five times a week i still put out a master class podcast episode every single day even though i'm not trying to sell you anything you know every once in a while i will try to sell you something but i'm able to do that i built up the relationship with you so that when i do put something out for sale even if you don't buy it you're not offended by the fact that i'm making an offer because look, you see the value that i'm giving even when i'm not trying to get anything from you right i'm not trying to sell you something i'm not trying to get you to do take any action let me just give you some value let me just give you some free game right here this is the same thing that you need to be doing when it comes to your mindset and when it comes to your mental conditioning is that you need to be conditioning your mind every single day even when you don't quote unquote need it even when you're not in any kind of emergency situation you need to be doing this all the time anyway and a lot of people neglect to do this so what happens is when you finally get into a situation when you need it let's say all right, you got let's say you got some challenge going on at work or you having problems with your significant other or uh, you just got fired from your job or you, know, you need some money right now and you're just not feeling confident at all and, and you're about to go do some things to try to get the money but you're not feeling confident in yourself so you know the way you communicate you're not going to be communicating with confidence which means people are probably going to say no to you and now you're like all right now i need some confidence all right let me go pull up one of uh, dre's videos off youtube or let me go read reread this chapter from this book that i read five years ago that's been sitting on my desk collecting dust ever since all right that's the wrong formula all right you're operating by an inaccurate formula that you're trying to call on something now because you need it when you haven't been doing the work leading up to it the same way that somebody doesn't work out they never go to the gym but then you go to the doctor and the doctor says look um you're about to be dead in six months because you got high blood pressure your cholesterol is out of control you are 60 pounds overweight you have not worked out in 10 years and you've been eating terribly so um you're in trouble and either you're gonna to need to pay us for this operation to save your life or you ain't gonna make it to see your kid turn four years old now all of a sudden you want to you know start working out and getting in shape and doing all the good stuff not to say that you can't do it but you understand as well as i do all right you should have been doing this all along all right you waited until the last minute when it became an emergency situation now you want to get into doing all the quote-unquote right stuff again this is an inaccurate formula so i'm telling all of you this to help you understand mindset is the number one for all of this because mindset leads to everything else you condition yourself mentally the right way working out will be a, a byproduct of the way you've conditioned yourself mentally so you'll get the physical shape you condition yourself mentally doing what you need to do for your business will be a byproduct of how you condition yourself mentally so your business and your money will be in the right space or at least you'll have the, the mechanisms in place to where you can do the business and the money if and when you need it you condition yourself mentally you'll be carrying yourself in a certain way to where you'll have the right relationships in place so even when a relationship is not going you know, perfectly the way that you want it you'll be able to repair that and it's not going to become this doomsday scenario so the mental conditioning this is why i'm talking about mental conditioning and i'm using all those others as an example because when you're conditioned mentally all those other pieces come with it all those other pieces are byproducts of you conditioning yourself mindset wise so that's why mental conditioning is the number one thing now do i have a resource that can show you how to do this yes i have a book called the mental workbook you can get it at workonmygame.com slash workbook that's workonmygame.com slash workbook where i explain everything i just told you in writing and 
is a journal so that you can actually write in the book. I tell you exactly what you need to write and exactly how you need to write it, how to structure it, how to organize it, and how to use it on a daily basis so that you can condition yourself mentally. So if that sounds like what you want, again, the link is workonmygame.com slash workbook for the mental workbook. The other thing you can do is make sure you're tuned into my podcast every single day. It's called Work On Your Game. It's on Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud, and I do put the videos on YouTube as well. It's also on my website, dreallday.com slash podcast. And you need to be getting my daily motivation tips. So I'm giving you this stuff. I put this stuff out all the time because this is the mental conditioning. This is the process that I follow myself and this is why I put it out for y'all, right? So I'm doing this all the time, even when I'm not explicitly talking about it. So get my daily motivation text by texting me at 305-384-6894. So with all that said, that's all I gotta say. I told you everything you need to know. Mental conditioning. If you're not doing this, you better start doing it because you're going to need it at one point or another. It's not a matter of me telling you. You're gonna need this at one point or another. You've already needed it at certain points. Some of you need it right now. I'm telling you how to get started so that you don't face an emergency and not have what you need in place next time. Work on your game. And oh yeah, workonyourgame.net. Get my free training, five steps to take your six-figure income to a seven-figure income. For business people, I'll tell you what the process is, what the system is, and I'll tell you how you can hop on a call with me and I can help you actually do this directly. That's at workonyourgame.net. Work on your game. Dre all.